Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rainbow Pharma Training Lab. It provides real education. I'm Shinwas Reddy. I'm a director of Rainbow Pharma Training Lab. In the last classes, we clearly understand that what is the roles of and the responsibilities of FR&D department and the R&D department and the quality control department and production department and you know stability department and the quality assurance department in pharmaceutical industry. Hope uh, you analyze and you understand the roles and responsibilities of each and every department in pharmaceutical industry briefly. So today in this class, I will speak about very, very popular department in pharmaceutical industry that is regulatory affairs. So before getting to the, what is the, you know, roles and responsibilities of regulatory affairs, first let's understand what is the exactly definition of regulatory affairs. So just uh, here I'm going to discuss about the, you know, what is exactly definition of regulatory affairs. Let's see. They act as the interface between the pharmaceutical industry and the drug regulatory authorities across the world. It is mainly involved in the registration of drug products in respective countries prior to their marketing. Once again, I would like to repeat the definition. They act as the interface between the pharmaceutical industry and the drug regulatory authorities across the world. It is mainly involved in the registration of drug products in respect to countries prior to their marketing. So try to understand. So before getting to the topic, first let's understand clearly uh, meaning of this definition. They, they acts, they acts means regulatory affairs. They means here regulatory affairs, right? So regulatory affairs acts as the interface. What is meaning of interface? Interface is nothing but a link. It is nothing but a, you know, connection is nothing but a bridge. Simply we can call as a bridge, right? So simply, Let's see. Regulator FS acts as the bridge between the bridge between the pharmaceutical industry. What is the pharmaceutical industry means? Pharma industry, our company. Okay. Pharma industry and the drug regulatory authorities. What is drug regulatory authorities? So drug regulatory authorities is nothing but those people are going to product the public, try to understand, product the public and animals health by health by regulating, regulating the medicines. Try to understand. That means, you know, these regulator that is every country if you go for us or uk or canada or brazil or you know uh, if you go for any country each and every country have individual drug regulatory authorities these people are going to control the medicines you know they don't allow you uh, directly sell the product in particular countries these people are going to control the medicine to product the people that's very important you know why it is really required in the sense if you go for see uh, see, if there is no regulatory authorities are there, let us example, everyone can make a tablet, right? Everyone can sell the product into the market, right? So something, if someone is, uh, you know, made a wrong medicine, for example, if someone is made a wrong medicine, but there is no, let us think that, let us assume that there is no regulatory authorities. So obviously everyone can make that medicine, wrong medicine can sell into the market, right? But what happened, you know, if someone is taken that uh, medicine, what happened? It is human risk, right? It is very human risk. That is the reason each and every country have, you know, they put the individual regulatory regulatory authorities who can control the medicines directly to sell into the particular country. Let us example, if you, if you last time also we discussed, right? So in the quality assurance also we discussed. Let us example, if you want to sell the product in US, so there also they have some own regulatory authority that we call as the US FDA. Last time we discussed, right? What is the full form of US FDA? United States of Food and Drug Administration. Let us example, if you want to sell the product in UK, for example. So they, they, those also, they put the own regulatory uh, authorities that we call as MHRA, right? MHRA means Medicines and Health Products Regulatory Agency. Let us example, if you go for Australia, let us example, if you want to sell the product in Australia, there also they have own regulatory authority that we call as TGA. TGA means Therapeutic Goods Administration. If you want to sell the product in Canada, so we have one, they also one regulatory authority that is called as HPFP. That means health products and food and branch, try to understand. So that means, so these regulatory authorities is not allow you directly sell the pro products, medicines in particular countries. Individually, they have one regulatory bodies, try to understand. So. What is regulatory affairs? Let's see that regulatory affairs. They act as the interface between the pharmaceutical industry and regulatory authorities. That means 
these people are be, uh, you know managing the maintain the bridge between the our company our pharma company to drug regulatory uh, that is across the world and it is mainly next it is mainly involved in the registration what is meaning of registration see uh, you know now only uh, now only i say that if you want to sell the product at any country obviously before that you have to register your molecule in particular country particular uh, drug regulatory authorities so before that we don't have the right to sell the product so obviously these regulatory apps are mainly involved into the registration of that our drug product in particular uh, country try to understand let us example if you want to sell the ciprofloxacin tablets let us example if you want to sell the product in ciprofloxacin tablet in us obviously you have to register your ciprofloxacin drugs of uh, drug into the that particular uh, regulatory authorities that what are the registration document is really required that these people this regulatory people are is going to do that documentation and these are the people are responsible to get approved from that particular regulatory from from that reg regula regulator that is try to understand see i'll give the small example to understand better way let us example if you want to if you want to get a some driving license let us example if you want to get a driving license obviously if you want to get a drug uh, you know driving license obviously uh, you know generally we don't go to the government office and we don't uh, take the application we don't read that uh, you know rules and regulations if you if i want to get a, any you know uh, driving license what are the documents is really required we don't read it and we don't uh, you know uh, if we don't find it that documents we don't submit directly what we do generally we find one agent yes or no we find some agent because why that agent is really required he knows very well yes or no he knows very well what are the documents is really required Yes or no? If we want to get a you know driving license, which document we have to put it to that application? Which one we have to put first one, and which one we have to put the second one? So they know very well. Yes or no? That is the reason we don't waste our time to go there and read the, all the things and submit and fail again and again recollect the document and again putting. So we don't take that much of risk there. So obviously we find a one 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 service person, one agent person who knows very well, and we we tell to him directly we need a. Uh, we want some driving license obviously he knows very well obviously he can say that sir uh, can uh, submit the some documents like you know uh, other card and uh, you know age proof whatever may be address proof whatever may be he has the some document we give the directly to the, the documents so what he do what he does generally simply you know he he collect all the documents you know he put into the one form one file okay and these people this person is going to submit the document try to understand so like that how the agent is working to get a you know driving license here also these regulatory people are working like a agent to get a approval from the particular market try to understand so hope you understand what is the meaning of registration so these people these regulatory people are very much involved into the uh, registrations all type of registration drug registrations particular marketing prior marketing marketing this is very important prior marketing in the sense before marketing once if we get the approval then only we do the marketing if you don't get the approval then how can we do the marketing these people are not allowed right drug regulator that, that is so try to understand here simplified i am giving the very much simplified regulator fs people that don't do the any analysis here regulator fs people don't do the any uh, manufacturing of products these people are collecting the data from cross functional teams and uh, and uh, and uh, submitting this uh, this document to the particular countries and these people are involved in to to get a approval from that particular country until getting of approvals these are the regulator fs is the responsible for that so these people that is the reason these regulator people should know the all rules and regulations of particular regulatory authorities so that is the reason they have to know that what are the rules are there how to do the documentation what are the documents is really required to get a approval from the particular country so these people are should read and should understand and he has, these people are has to collect the data from the different different departments cross functional teams these people are has to submit the data and if you have if they have any queries during of review of the doc document if they have any query obviously these people they directly contact that uh, regulator authorities directly contact to these regulator fis they don't contact, uh, contact to you know quality control they don't contact to production person they don't con contact to stability person directly they these people are going to regulator authorities people are going to contact with this area person these are persons has to you know contact with a particular like you know qc and stability they collect the data and submit to that regulator what are the documents they require actually so try to understand simply we can say that this regulator fs is a bridge between the industry to 
and regulatory authorities. Hope you understand this point very well. I'll give the, you know,